Let's see what's in the garage right now, just before starting a dry run of the assembly. Lower box, ah, it's on the side, it's pre-assembled. There are still the say bearings and engines to um, align it properly. I will do another time. And this is the azimuth table, the upper uh, part and the tripod over there. Um, before getting into <coughs> into the um, assembly, um, I've been asked to, to spend a few words on the grinding apparatus that we've been using here uh, to create, in this case, the to track the rail for uh, the azimuth movement. All right, so. <coughs> The, the concept is that you have a uh, few arches, uh, in this case it's carbon fiber, we ended up using carbon fiber and uh, in order to generate a surface that is as accurate as possible so that the rollers here can do a good job in, uh, in, terms of, in order to keep the telescope leveled and providing a, a, a smooth rotation. So the concept is, um, is, is simple, uh, then in practicality gets a little bit more uh, complex. So to um, generate a surface, uh, and, and imagine this is a, a, a one single surface where we are interested in these 25 millimeters. We set up a, a, an axis, uh, is it 50 millimeter cart uh, shaft and there's a bearing here you can see that and there's a bearing down there right it does a um, few layers of wood just to make it um, more robust robust and uh, and giving some uh, space between one bearing and the other so these two bearings are creating along with this shaft the axis and then you have this um, hanging uh, part of uh, this apparatus where you can find the grinding machine that is as simple as it can get is an angled grinder uh, the only tricky bit is that it has very rudimental but effective way to adjust the height the overall height in the back and in the front the front is a little bit more precise. You turn these, you turn these um, screws, and these two uh, arms are adjusting in the, uh, in terms of height. Um, and I think I show already last time. These uh, is something that is uh, in order to make sure that we have a reference for checking that is uh, that is parallel so this was set up in a way that it's uh, it's parallel to the tool so let's look at the tool here this is a, a grinding cup a diamond grinding cup it's doing a great job with the with carbon fiber is uh, is really just perfect so what happens is that it takes quite some time uh but Steadily, you just adjust the height by probably mm, half a tenth of a millimeter each and every time, and you go around. And uh, and when all the when all the uh, surfaces touch and ground in a single passage, it means that you are that you have a, a fairly decent surface. We check that it's um, overall. It's 93 microns, which is not bad. It means that if that 93 microns is a single inaccuracy in the surface, um, the telescope would be tilted by 20 arc second, uh, which is uh, which is not bad. Uh, it's more important to have the um, the rail being uh, accurate, yes, but with a predict predictable error 
say, so that the uh, periodic error controller can do his job and, uh, and take it away by um, auto-guiding, for example. So this is the, the overall thing. I'd say just to uh, think to add here a digital gauge um, to check the um, to check the, the accuracy of the of the rail. And um, here we used to have this tiny little thing with some um, sand paper to smooth out the surface after after grinding. We've done kind of half an hour just to go around, just to go around and and leaving these uh, kind of sledge doing a, 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 a smoothing a smoothing operation on that. Um, that's all. The the overall cost of this stuff and the grinder is 50 maybe if you're getting one of good quality euros US dollar or pound whatever it is uh, a couple of bearings that are fairly big but again on uh, can be can be uh, retrieved for uh, five ten um, euros each and all the rest is uh, is stuff that that we have already in the in the garage and it, you see it's very rudimental and uh, and uh, just to add it, probably overall maybe 100 euros, all in all, the digital gauge. This is a micro um, digital, digital gauge. We are not really interested in the fact that it's super accurate. It's really just a, a relative um, measurement that is, um, that is of interest. All right, so that is so for this. Uh, this contraption in order to generate a decent um, surface for this big bearing. In the, in the end is a 1.2 meter wide um, lazy Susan, I think, uh, kind of bearing. And 